Yoshko Gvardiol's rise to become one of the world's most highly coveted central defenders has been rapid and remarkable. His displays for Croatia at the World Cup in Qatar made him a household name back home. We met The Wall in Leipzig and talked to some of the people who witnessed the dawn of a budding superstar. We saw him as a sense for the game. We saw that feeling for the lob. After 30 minutes of the first game, what I saw, I just came back to his family and started talking about him. We went to a place where they know how to produce fantastic footballers and have the lowdown on the making of a defensive world beater. Joško was born in the Croatian capital Zagreb in January 2002. His dad was a footballer himself, even if literally in a different league. So the footballing DNA was there, although it was another man who gave him his first big start in the game. Tato znači da je ribar Tihomir, evo im putem ga puno pozdravljam. Uvijek je radio, uvijek me znao. Uvijek mi znao i reći treneru da ga možete povesti na utakmicu. Da pa će, tiho, može, nema problema, pošto smo bili susjedi. Uvijek me čeka dole ispred ulaza. Joška sam vodio kao svoje djete što danas vodim na utakmice ili treninge. That neighbor was a coach at NK Trezniovka and Julie took the lad to a training session at the Zagreb club. The only issue was what seven-year-old fancies being in defense. On je meni uvijek molio treneru mogu igrati naprijed. Ja sam uvijek... Popustio, naravno, djetu morate dati sve da igra. Igrao je ljevo krilo, igrao je ljevog bočnog. Joško loved scoring goals, but somewhat presciently, his coach saw his immense potential at the back. Zato što je bio brz, zato što je čitao igru. I znali smo kako on igrao traga da mi nešto primiti gol. Moram to iskreno reći, jer on vam je sve polovio, svaka lopta koja je išla duga, kratka, po strani. On je toliko bio brz da je mogo s jedne strane, drugu stranu stići tu loptu, stići tog napadača protivničkog. His defensive performances showed his vision, strength in the air, instant decision making and composure. And soon enough, a certain big neighbor from Zagreb came knocking. Pa bio sam jako mali i tata je ono vodio brigu naravno o meni i kad mi je tata prenio tu vijest ja sam onako ne, ne bi tata išao, volio bih ostati u Trešnici jer ono bila je dobra ekipa i stvarno sam se super osjećao, ali e, znali smo da, da je Dinamo mjesto za napredak i potpisao sam, odnosno nisam potpisao nek sam došao u Dinamo. Now eight years old, Joško left his comfort zone for the biggest club in Croatia, Dinamo Zagreb. Pa mislim da on od malena bio fokusiran na to da uspije. Kod njega se vidlo od prvog dana ta želja za golom, želja za pobjedom. And at Dinamo the chances of success were incomparably higher. The people around him now saw his full potential and found the perfect club for developing it. Dinamo, Dinamo radi jako dobru selekciju na tim mlađim kategorijama. Dinamo je godinama imao apsolutnu prevlast i mogo je dovesti igrača, mladog igrača s bilo kojeg dijela, da li to iz Dalmacije, Istre, Slavonije, pa čak i u ranoj dobi iz Bosne i Hercegovine, Slovenije. Davor Šuker, Zvonomir Boban, Mario Mandžukic, Dejan Lovren, Mateo Kovacic, Luka Modric. The list is endless. And among the new budding superstars passing through Dinamo's youth team ranks was Joško, as the diamond began to really shine. Ono što je bilo za vrijeme mene, dosta smo se bavili individualnim radom. Ja sam igrao poziciju ljevog beka i stopera zadnjeg veznog, pa smo se bazirali na igri glavom. I ono što mi se sviđalo je da su uvijek težili tome da nas je gura u generaciju više iznad. So Joško got to hone his defensive skills at an early stage. Individual defending is one thing, but a philosophy common to all teams is that defense is the first line of attack. Joško entered the national team set up in the under 14s, but playing for Dinamo means you can't stay under the radar for long, whether for agents or for foreign clubs. Gledajte, ja, ja ću vam sad reći ovako, uh, Joško Gvardijol je moj najmlađi uh, klijent ikada. Znači, mi smo, ja sam potpisao ugovor s njim o zastupanju kad je on imao svega 14 godina. Čak mislim da nije navršio ni 14. Ja to inače ne radim, 
ali on se meni toliko svidio kao, kao igrač, kao talent, kao potencijal. Nego njegova karijera se cijelo, cijelo vrijeme gradi korak po korak. On je preskačao stepenica i to je jako bit. Ili nešto, on je s 14 godina imao ponudu Milanskog Intera. Mogu već 14 godine ići u Inter. A ko zna kako bi se on to snašao? Joško stayed put and continued his footballing education at Dinamo, making steady instead of sudden progress, one step at a time. Do tamo da bem momča di Dinama sam igrao nogome zato jer ga volim i zato jer jer mi je drago biti sa suigračima na terenu, pobjeđivati. I onda zapravo kad sam došao u u prvu momča Dinama, onda zapravo shvatiš da je to i igra, ali u jednu ruku je posao. He made his professional debut in the fall of 2019 at the age of 17. He went on to establish himself in the starting 11 and in that first season won the Croatian league title with perennial champions Dinamo. Time for the next step. Da je možda da je vrijeme da se otiđe iz Dinama. Bila tu još ponuda lica i naravno da imao sam, imao sam neki pritisak od kluba da, da, da se potpiše za lic. Ja sam bio protiv toga, ipak je to engleska liga, me i dodna engleska liga ima još uhoho vremena i stepenica za, za zakoračiti. The Premier League then at least a step too far, even if it was still his dream destination. Fortunately, Joško knew a player who'd likewise graduated from the Dinamo U setup and chosen the Bundesliga as his next step. He was training with us, playing a few games, but still not in the, in the full dynamic. After when, when I leave, then his time arrived and he started to play all the season. I nekako ovaj, razgovaraš i sa Danijem, sa menadžerima, sa svojima doma, in the summer of 2020, he was signed for a fee of 16 million euros by Leipzig, who immediately loaned him back to Dinamo, where he won another league title and the Croatian Cup as well. In 2021, Joško was called up to the Croatian senior squad for the Euros and became one of the tournament's revelations as a 19-year-old defender. Što se tiče te mirnoće i na terenu, ne znam, jednostavno sam rođen s tim nekako po samoj prirodi je usađeno u mene. After the Euros, Joško finally made his debut for Leipzig and soon became a first team regular, carrying straight on where he'd left off in Zagreb. Jednostavno prenio sam možda sam radio Dinamo, tako sam prenio i ovdje. I naravno da kad volim, kad osvojim loptu, prvi cilj mi je gledat prema naprijed, što oko mitija lopta. He made 29 Bundesliga appearances in his very first season in Germany, playing whenever he was fit. Leipzig only finished fourth, but fared better in the cup. The team beat Freiburg in the final to secure the club's first major trophy. A triumph followed by setbacks, however, with injury related to absences and two successive coaches being sacked. But come the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, he was one of the standout performers. In dem Alter schon so abgeklärt mit der Qualität ähm, gegen den Ball und, und mit dem Ball. Joško played every game in Croatia's progression to the semi-finals, where they were beaten 3-0 by Argentina. In the third place playoff against Morocco, Joško scored with a diving header, to the delight of his boyhood coach. Ono što njega krasi, to igra glavom. Znači, vi ne, ne trenirate djecu sa šest ili sedam ili osam godina vježbice sa loptom sa glavom, ali on imao strah. On je zabio jako puno golova glavom i ja moram priznati, jako sam bio sretan ovaj gol protiv Maroka kad je zabio. Croatia were given a hero's welcome on their return, with Joško's strong showing making him a global star. Za današnji moderni nogomet on je brz, on je skočan, on je agresivan, on je moćan, on brzo razmišlja i šta je njemu velika prednost, on predviđa igru unaprijed. Calmness, conviction and anticipation have made Joško one of the most highly sought after central defenders on the planet. He and the people around him have always made the right call on where the next step takes him. Joško gledaju će Pa za mene već za dvije, tri godine igrat u nekom top svjetskom klubu, kamo li za peć, šest. Sad, da li pričamo o Realu, Barceloni, Manchester City, u PSG-u, teško je sad spekulirati gdje će on zadešiti. Ali po meni to je sigurno jedan od, jedan od klubova koji će biti top, top, koji će biti sam svjetski igrat.